Okay, so one thing I forgot to do here was to show you the proper uh, synchronizer now. It's installed the correct way and that reverse is going to work. So I dropped the main shaft in. Okay, let's prove myself right here. Again, this reverse gear can only go one way. It's this is where the linkage goes and where the linkage goes okay it's going to move this up and down okay there is this is called the detent the linkage and the detent is here this is going to help hold it into place you can hear it snap in place so i think that might even work for us okay there's our reverse take a look inside smooth on the shaft they even put a brass bushing inside here Okay, with little holes in it, so we get some good proper lubrication. Okay, let's see if this will go in correctly. Come on, work for me. Not everybody wants to work for me today. There we go. So there, reverse is not engaged. Okay, here we can engage reverse. And notice now, with that synchro the right way, and in the neutral position, because it needs to be neutral, it cannot be engaging any of these two gears. Now the reverse gear lines up correctly with the synchro, and it lines up correctly with the input cluster shaft to give us a reverse output here. So now if I turn this input cluster shaft, okay, it's going to, it's turning the reverse, this is going, let's turn this clockwise. This is going counterclockwise. This is now going clock, okay? So this is going clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise. Then we have our output out, okay? So we have reverse. This can go in, and it doesn't go in with the main shaft in place. We gotta pull the main shaft out first. We drop that in, and remember, the different speed, fourth to fifth, is based upon the main shaft pinion gear and the fifth gear shaft pinion gear. We get fifth because the fifth gear shaft pinion is bigger than the main shaft pinion gear. So this is this transition back together again. Pop that in. Okay. Shift linkage. We would have a shift linkage here to move these two easily. Okay, and the shift linkage and, and everything is attached it down here. Okay, how that works, you don't really need to know too, too much about it. So this is that transaxle. Hope that the videos helped and you learned something. Okay, I'm sorry for the mix up on that one video. Okay, stop.